How's it going, everybody? Remember the red tears? Yeah, beautiful fish. It's been eight months since I got them. They are eh, less than an inch. They've grown a lot. So let's go check that out. So here they are. Uh, we're about four months, four months old since uh, the video, first video I did. And they're eating well. Obviously everyone in the tank has grown well. Some of the African cichlids have been taken out and given away. But as... They come together here, you can tell they're both approximately the same size. Here we go, right here. About two months later, after that, so this would put them at about six months, it's, you can see the difference in size. This male here has just become a beast. Lots of colors. So they've gotten bigger. I think that's a female. I don't know. But the game plan is get all these African cichlids out of here so these two can be by themselves. You notice a little bit of bite marks. The difference in size is just completely amazes me. The one just went to a complete growth spurt. And yes, he sits here and gets himself inside there still. Crams himself in there. It's hilarious. Alright, let's get all these Africans out of here. And we'll go from there. Draining the tank obviously is going to be the safest and easiest way to catch all these fish. <laughs> Got a couple more in the back. I don't want to move this. Oh, I knew that would happen. I knew that would happen. See how big he is? I just lifted up his home. This is not good. All right, we'll get these guys into their new tank. All right, this is my 65 gallon tall. I've done a few videos on this tank too. Check those out if you want. Alright, this is the big one. Imagine that's a male. Look how small that is there. Let's get him back in. Oh. They're not even done growing yet.
Well, we're just gonna have to see where this goes. As far as size go, you would think this would be a female, but I'm looking here and I just can't really tell. I cannot completely make a decision on this. It could just be a small growing male. This is him crammed inside his rock. <laughs> So then we'll take a look at the other one here and look how beat up its tail is. And um, so and I'm concerned about uh, what I'm going to do here. You can see a good look at the tail here and just getting bit on. But continues to just stay around the other one. So I'm not sure if they may pair off or what. Which leads us to today. Now, yes, they are going to get an upgrade on a tank. But as far as that goes, I had to separate them. Because she was getting beat up. If it is a she, if it's a he, he was getting beat up. Healing. We are healing. Uh, the tail is looking good. Everything is looking good. I don't know if this is a male or a female. We know this has got to be a male. This guy, he's... God, he's a beast. That's when I decided I can't end this video like this. Not one bit can I end this video like this. Let's see, it's starting to heal right there. Let's uh, let's feed these guys. See, I so hope this is a female. See, see all the, the blue. He's got all over. His, this one doesn't have it at all. It's just a few spots. That was that got really bad. I mean, he really beat her up. If it's a her, if it's a boy, okay, that's fine. I'm wishful thinking, I think. A lot of copper. Let me see something here. Look at all the beautiful copper colors, too. It's crazy when he gets angry. His dark vertical stripes come out. Ooh. Here, girl. And the size difference, that's another thing. Besides the blue speckles, it's the size difference. Is, let me see. It's, there's hardly any speckles on her, just... Just on the tail a little bit. Not like this guy. So you never know. Double snag. You just don't know, you know, if they get older they they change even more. And I'm sure once we get them in a bigger tank, you never know. I mean, actually, you know, you walk in one day and they're spawning. <laughs>